Hello, everyone. I'm a little bit early tonight because I have a guest joining me. So this is the pre-show for Paint Talk. Dion here with the Turquoise Iris. Um, we are going to add our second color to this piece of furniture tonight. Hope you can join me. If you can't stick around, it'll still be under videos forever. Five years, I've never deleted a video, so I won't start now. Don't worry about it. Um, I do have this painting here with me. And so um, I'm going to be having a guest here on for just a few minutes. As soon as she pops on, I will bring up Miss Melanie. We have an announcement to make. Uh, so I asked her to come on. Yes, I want to win me. <laughs> All right, Gavin. So we're going to um, show this painting. And um, all of you cuties that are already saying me, it makes me so happy. Um, I wish I could paint one, honestly, for every single one of you. You know what I mean? Um, some, several of you said make Christmas cards out of this image, which is always a possibility for next year. But um, the painting's finished, other than putting the sealer on it. And so um, what we'll do tonight is I'll go through the comments on YouTube and Facebook and everybody that has said me uh, or nominated somebody else. Uh, we will put your name on a list and we will draw names tomorrow. The only catch is you do have to be live on with us tomorrow to win uh, the painting. And I understand that Christmas Eve is a little bit different for everybody. Uh, this year. Um, I also, we did this because, and we're going to also give away some prizes too, because we were given extra shipping money from um, some of the guests on YouTube and on Facebook. You guys sent money in, and so you're good. Yep, y'all are already saying me, so um, y'all are good. So this is called The Gift, and um, I thought it would be fun and special to give away a painting on Christmas Eve. So, perfect. Perfect. I see you guys popping on saying me, and that means everything. Alice, hello, sweetie. I was just reading your message, and I want to thank you so much. And uh, prayers to you. Thank you for that. I am bringing on my guest, Miss Melanie, so we can make our announcements with you guys tonight. Hello, darling. Hi. Can you hear me okay? It's so choppy to me. Oh, my goodness. It's okay. It'll work out. Just give it a minute. Okay. Every once in a while, it it's like glitchy for about yeah. 30 seconds, and you can't really understand me. Okay. But it'll work its way out. I'm going to introduce you. We're good. We're good. So, I got gotcha. you. Everybody, this is Melanie Whitaker, and she is in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and she's also one of the DIY paint retailers. Um, she is Windmill Vintage Designs, and she's got tons of fabulous videos on YouTube that if you're not following, I hope that you will. She's on YouTube and Instagram, and I had the pleasure of meeting Melanie back in 2017 when we were in Delaware together, and ever since then, we've kept in touch, and I'll tell you what, I um, have decided to come with Debbie Beard and Kenise Blair, and we are going to Albuquerque. Yay! Um, yay! So we're gonna <laughs> hang out with Miss Melanie. And um, Melanie, you wanna tell them what, what, let me see, say something and let me see if it's worked its way out. Can you hear me now? Perfect. <laughs> All right. So yes, the ladies are coming. So we have three fabulous ladies, got Dion and Debbie and Kenise coming on over to the store, Windmill Vintage Designs, and um, we're gonna do um, a virtual, virtual live Paper. class yes. thing. Yes, yes, so we, um, you know, Debbie and I and Kenise have kind of gone to several different places in 2020, but with everything that's gone on with COVID, we've decided that we need to take this thing that we've been doing online and do virtual only. Um, so we are offering, as soon as I get off this live, you guys, you can go to my website, you can grab a virtual ticket, you can sit right in your own house and do the whole workshop with the three of us. Melanie's gonna paint, I'm gonna paint, Debbie's gonna paint, and then we're gonna actually give away and draw names for the pieces. And if you're within the continental United States, we will be able to ship that to you. Otherwise, we will find something else. Oh, Irma, you found us. I'm so sorry. Um, the other thing is, we have decided to go ahead and do a VIP a night, but it's going to be different than we normally do. Normally, we have about 30 people together um, for a couple of hours, but we're going to do two sessions of a VIP group, eight per session. So at five o'clock, 
in Melanie's shop, we're going to allow eight guests to come in because, of course, with the rules of COVID, we will be following all the rules that New Mexico has um, placed. And we're going to do live Q&A. We're going to do, of course, photos and anything else we want to do. Um, so we'll have two sessions at, at five and then we'll have, uh, excuse me, we'll have a session at five and another session at seven o'clock. And those tickets, I am proud to say, are available right now. Right, Miss Mel? You can grab them. You can grab them. You can grab your ticket. So what you're going to need to do if you want a VIP ticket and you're in the Albuquerque area or you want to come, uh, you go to Windmill Vintage Designs right now and grab one of those spots. Yeah. Um, Pam Dudley says, I'm so excited in H-A-P-P-Y. <laughs> Yay, Pam. That um, sounds like Pam already bought one. <laughs> I think it'll be good. And you know what? I was actually thinking about it. Like it's a different format, but for the people who can come, they get you guys for an hour by themselves. Like yeah. just eight women. I mean, that's like extraordinary. Instead of spending that time with like a lot of people, you've got like a smaller, yeah, a lot more one-on-one -on -one time to to really get to know everyone and spend time. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's um, I love doing the big workshops just because I love as meeting as many people as possible. But there's yeah. really there's really something to be said for just the small intimate group. Yeah. Um, so with just be the four of us with eight guests and um, like I said, her store is just big enough for us to spread out. Yes, and um, kind of do our thing. What's the website again? I am so sorry. I meant to have that. That's okay. It's windmillvintagedesigns.com. And you want to go, like if you, I mean, you can put in tickets, you could put in Dion, you're going to find it in the search bar. But if you go to Melanie's Favorite Things, you're going to find it faster. So um, just Melanie's Favorite Things, once you get to Windmill Vintage Designs, and it's, it's just going to pop in. Okay. Yeah. So like I said, um, I'm, I'm betting that a couple of those tickets have already sold. And so because we're doing only 16, once they're done, they're done, you guys. We're not going to be able to add any more. But what yeah. happens is if you want to do the virtual class, say you're in New York or you're in Australia, it doesn't matter where you are, you can take a virtual class with us. We're going to live stream it through the private Facebook group. It's still going to be a three-hour class. You're still going to be able to do live interaction with us. Um, we're still going to do all the fun things that we do in our in-person classes. But, you know, I did these for years. And then about two years ago, we stopped because I started coming to you guys and doing more and more workshops. And I love doing them. And I'm looking forward to us being able to do the in-person once again. But the virtual, I promise it's going to be just as much fun because you're going to be able to ask questions. Yeah. Kinesis, Kinesis is going to be able to read questions and walk around. And you know what? I haven't seen Melanie paint in person, and I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. And they'll, they'll still be able to win prizes and stuff, even though they're not there. They're in yeah. that virtual class. They can still win, which is, wow. Yeah, no. it's it's going to be a real treat. So we'll draw names and then we'll give around. We'll give away free stuff. Um, am I allowed to do it online? Hi, Gavin. Yes. Um, yes, we'll still put you in the in the class if you are able to buy a ticket. The tickets are forty seven dollars just for the virtual class. And so if you don't know what to tell your partner or spouse or friend and they're looking for a gift for you, this yeah. might be just the thing. Yeah. Um, so as soon as you check out you will get an invitation or you can find the group online uh, on Facebook and it's called, how do um, they find it? I know. I'm all, if you go to, if you go to windmill vintage designs on Facebook and hit my groups, you're going to see it there. Okay. Um, but it's called like VIP. I'll have to get the exact verbiage. Like oh, it's over there on the computer. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we'll like add you. Yeah. We'll add you in. Um, Miss Dion, ask her about her turtles. They are adorable. My turtles are hibernating, Gavin. Um, so we won't see them until spring. And this is our, we just be nervous and hope that nature's taking its course and they're hibernating the way they're supposed to and that they were healthy when they went under. And hopefully, you know, one by one, they'll just start coming up in the spring and we'll be excited. And until then, we'll just be biting our nails, like freaking out, waiting for them to come up. Because <laughs> it's scary, you know, it, it is scary. But they'll be okay. We're going to just... They're going to be okay. Think positive. I'll be fine. Oh, my goodness. I did not know about your turtles. I have six turtles, Dion. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I didn't yeah. even know that. Earthly Soul. Earthly Soul just grabbed the link on Facebook, you guys, for you to grab 
um, the ticket. Now, the one for the virtual class, I haven't made it activated on my website yet, okay. but I will do that just as soon as we're off of here, you guys. Okay. Um, Papa Mac and Irene, I know we're giving away this painting, so you guys are amazing, and I love that you're popping on and already saying me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to paint on this piece of furniture, but I wanted to invite Melanie on here to do this announcement with me. Uh, Melanie, how long have you had your store open, sister? We have been open. I, I guess we're going on like four, little over four years um, and doing good. Same location. We're back in the corner. You know, it's just a real small little quaint kind of place. And, you know, that's where we are. And it's good. We have a lot of a lot of New Mexico love, a lot of um People from around here who are who aren't even New Mexico, but you know, we get a lot of a lot of love from the ladies. It's good. That's so good. And you know, she does have a website online, so um, she ships paint. And um, for those of you that are going to be attending the online workshop, she will have paint, and you can order the colors, and and she will ship it to you. So we're trying to put everything just in one spot. Yes. Um, but we are actually Debbie and I and Kenise are actually coming to see Melanie. So. Yeah. Um, you can say me now, Mar Sarah. Yes. If you're wanting to, to win this tomorrow night on Christmas Eve, just say me and, um, Michelle and I will go through here and make a list of everybody and then we'll draw your name tomorrow, but you do need to pop on tomorrow for you to win the painting everybody. Um, okay. So does anybody have any questions about the online workshop or the VIP night, um, for January 30th? January 30th, that's a Saturday, and then the VIP night will be on the 29th, Friday yes. the night before. Yeah. Hello, hello, you guys. I'm so thrilled that you're here. This is my friend Melanie Whitaker from Albuquerque, New Mexico at Windmill Vintage. And, um, guys, she puts out, how often do you put out a new video? Um, YouTube videos, I try to do like one a week. Sometimes I do like two or three in a week, and then I, I skip a week and I need to get more consistent with that. But um, my YouTube is actually called Vintage Makeovers with Melanie. So a little bit different. Okay. Vintage yeah. Makeovers with Melanie. Yes. Um, if, if Lolly was on here, I would have her grab that link. Yeah. Lolly's awesome. She'll grab it. She's good. Gavin could probably grab it too. Grab, it too. grab that too. Yes. Alice, you can sign up for the virtual class probably up until the day before. It's just $47. The main thing is that everybody that buys the tickets, you have to be um, in the Facebook group because we'll live stream. Yeah. Wait, I'm confused. On Melanie's site, it says 200. 200 is only, Shanoa, 200 is only for the VIP event Friday night plus the class online. Um, the Just the virtual ticket is 47 and it will be available on my website. The, the VIP are, going, are directly to Melanie. That's where you can find that ticket because that's actually um, at her space. Whoopsies. You there, sis? I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the VIP tickets are you get to spend an hour and a half with, with all four of us hanging out, you know, in person, that's an in-person small, small thing. And so that's separate from the, the virtual, the virtual is the, you know, of course you to get the VIP, you obviously get the virtual too, you know, but yes. A, yeah. Yeah. So, um, they're asking for the virtual link guys. I, what I was saying earlier is I haven't activated it yet. I was waiting until after the live, but I'll, I'll grab my computer and activate it right now. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you're all good. All good. I was just thinking that I would wait, but, um, I wasn't thinking clearly was I, I was eating dinner and <laughs> an extra child here and we were all just being silly and, uh, I'm going to do that right here where you guys are on here and then we'll let Miss Melanie go and uh, we'll get to painting. Um, well, oh, I look forward to seeing you guys. Um, oh my goodness. I can't wait to come and, you know, just see your store. It's been since, well, three and a half years since, well, almost three and a half years since we've seen you. Yes. In person. In person. In, yeah. So it'll be nice to see all the girls and um, I feel like I know, you know, the first time we met, it was like, well, the first time we met, <laughs> you know, so now we kind of know each other more and, you know, especially through social media and all that stuff. So it'll be really well, nice. I'm proud of you because I know you've been working your tail off. Um, and the guys, I see your questions about the, the date is January 30th for the virtual class. It will be from three to six. And because we will be 
I always say three to six central time. So I'm not sure, honestly. So that would be two o'clock here if we did it central time. It would start at two my time. Okay. So that just, that probably didn't help anything. Don't, don't listen. Well, to I'm trying to figure out, cause you don't actually have to be, um, to be there present. It's a, it's a live class and it'll be in the group available forever. Um, so, uh, and then the VIP night is the night before. So I got to figure out the time change because normally when I do a class, it's three to six. It's just wherever we are at that time, it would be three to six. So if we're at Melanie's, we'll go with three to six yeah. per time. Yeah. Um, okay. Give me just a minute. I'm going to activate that um, online virtual class, which I, again, we haven't done. Debbie has never done one and I haven't done one in a couple of years. Melanie, have you ever done a virtual class? No, <laughs> no, ma'am. Nope, you're the girl. You're the okay. leader. <laughs> well, we're going to make this happen. You know, okay. um, we're going to make it happen. So in about 30 seconds, you guys, the virtual class is up. Now you're going to get the virtual class from my website at the sharkwaycyrus.com. If you want to grab a, one of those 16 spots for the VIP class, an in-person event meeting Debbie and I and Kenise and Miss Mel, then grab one of those. Yeah. Okay. It's live. Awesome. It is live, you all. If you have any questions, though, you know I'm going to be back tomorrow, and I'll be back the day after that, except I'll skip Christmas. I've been doing 100 lives in 100 days, so I'll be right there. Um, can virtual people win furniture, too, or only the VIP? Um, Crystal, everybody that buys a, VI, uh, buys a virtual ticket will be entered to win the pieces of furniture. It's not exclusive to the VIP people. All right. I could actually get down there for that, Melanie. Says Betsy Kelly. Yay. Yay. Awesome. Then so All many right. of you girls too that are close. I would love to meet you in person too. We we talk, we text, we message, you know, and but and you're close and you're great customers. And I've just never met you in person too. So I would really That would be nice. amazing. I tell you what, Melanie, there's nothing like I know you have customers, but there's nothing like, um, you know, like the people that comment on your YouTube channel all the time and they're so supportive and they show up to every video. Yes. And when you meet them in person, it's just like, I could just squeeze you. Yes. Well, and you already feel like you know them, you know, you, you already know their heart and who they are. And yeah, I would love, yeah, that's just awesome. It's a, it's a very good connection and, you know, feels good. Really does. absolutely. Um, okay, Miss Earthly Soul, you grabbed the link, and I am so grateful for you tonight. Thank you so much, Mel. I'm going to let you pop off, and then okay. I am going to just work on this piece of furniture for a little while. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dion, and we'll talk soon. And I'm excited. Thank you, hun. I'm so excited too. Merry Christmas. Oh yes, you too. I can't even believe it's a weird year. Doesn't even feel like it, but okay, so Merry Christmas to you too. Okay, we'll talk okay. soon. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, babe. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Miss Melanie uh, Whitaker from Windmill Vintage for coming on tonight and helping me make our announcement. Um, thank you, Monica. I'm excited, too. Y'all go watch Melanie on YouTube. She's amazing, easy, and fun to watch. Um, it's like, no way this is real. Is this the turquoise iris in front of me for real? I think that's what Gavin was thinking to himself, I guess. I was thinking the same thing, Gavin. I'm like, is this seriously Gavin right here in front of me? <laughs> all right, everybody. All you got to put is me. Me. We'll make a list. We'll get that going. We'll make our announcement tomorrow during the Christmas Eve um, show. And I have decided to get some cherry picked on a girl over here. So I have cherry picked. I have mermaid tail. I have cowgirl coral. That doesn't mean I won't have blue iris, but for now, that's where we're going with it. So let me get this painting out. Matt will come back in here in just a few minutes. Um, I need to make sure I don't get anything on this painting. So let me set it over here. Hi, baby. Uh, the computer's right here. I went and activated the tickets for the virtual class because they were asking, so I stole it. All right, everybody. I think Melanie learned a lot from you. Thank you, Donetta. Okay, I've got cherry picked. I seriously, you guys, I, I know I'm embracing my purples. You're right. You're so right. Um, 
Thank you, Mary Barricat. I see that you've grabbed your tickets for the virtual class. Earthly soul, soul still on screen. You look so good in the color red. Alice, thank you so much. I appreciate you. So I think that this shade of orange with cherry picked and cowgirl coral is going to be super fabulous with the mermaid tail. So these were my two options, if you recall, the other night. And then I did the two paintings in basically the same colors. Now, this isn't to say that I'm not going to add in blue iris, but the warmth, I think, because it's cold outside, is screaming my name. So I will take all of this iron down here at the bottom and all at the top, and I will highlight it with copper, okay? So let's get started. Do the, the, the virtual tickets do not sell out, buddy. There's just only 16 tickets total for the VIP. And we're just doing a group of eight and then another group of eight, and then it's done. You did, Karen, we came on at 8.15, um, my time. We came on early because um, I wanted to make sure I was ready at 8.30 for everybody saying, me, 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 me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get started. So I put wax, clear wax over the sides, which I was calling them these, her hips. Hey babe, you good? Yeah, I'm trying to get logged in, logged on, logged something. So I just can just log in. Just logging. I'm logging something. <laughs> All right. Um, Robert, we had an announcement where I had Miss Melanie come on, and we came on at 8.15. And so I would be ready to paint at 8.30 as per usual. So if you're interested, all you have to do is say me if you guys want to be entered into win that painting back there that I just showed. And I'm going to grab some cherry picked. You guys, I'm curious, do you turn on your notifications or do you just kind of look at the time? I know I'm, I'm saying that because I always wonder if Facebook actually sends out notifications or if they're late. Gavin, depends on where you are in California. Hello, Gavin. How are you, sir? Oh, Gavin's been chatty. He was on here and he loves Melanie, too. So. Oh, sweet. And uh, he told me that Melanie has turtles and they're hibernating. Six turtles. I didn't realize turtles turtles hibernated. Yes. She was telling us all about it, and I had zero ideas. I, I had no idea. Hmm. So if you want a VIP ticket, you go to Windmill Vintage Designs. Derek does notifications. Facebook sends him notifications. Okay. Thank you. We've got a lot of me's coming in. We so, got, yes. so you explain that you Oh, yeah. I've been on 15 minutes. Me, right? Mm -hmm. in, in this thread for right now, mm -hmm. in order to be written down and then put in the hopper mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to win a chance for some erica you're the cutest from brushes and the painting right? yes absolutely. not both either brushes and or right yes either or okay All right. i need a flathead screwdriver to open this me please me please i just know you are on but yes miss the early time i'm sorry I'm sorry. I was just wanted to be here ready to paint at 8.30 per usual. Um, but we made our announcement. It's been two years since I've done a virtual class. Um, and this one will be totally different. I've never actually done a virtual one, but we're going to live stream. You can ask your questions. Um, I just thought I'm missing the workshops. I haven't done one since October, and I canceled the one that I had in December for Reclaimed Warehouse. I canceled the one I had for January at Reclaimed Warehouse in person, and um, thought, well, it's way to go. We got to do we got to do virtual, and then if I can hang out with friends, that's even more fun. I'm watching, but I'm folding clothes. Laura says, "Me." <laughs> so I have cherry picked and cowgirl coral. And I'm going to pour a little bit out. Now, I put clear wax over this because I wanted to create a resistance. I want some of that orange to kind of peek through, even though I'm going to dust some cherry picked on it. Now, guys, you know that I'll probably have about eight colors on here. I'm going to go get my ticket. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's true, Gavin. 
I'm just very true. What, what'd he say? He said Mac could have opened it with his pinky. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin, I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas, buddy. And I okay. hope you I hope you're on with us tomorrow night. But if you can't be, I totally understand. Um, if you're at your dad's or if you're just tied up with family, I, I uh, totally understand. Um, there do... was a question. Ben Where this. was it? Um... So do we say me more than once? No, no you only just, you only need to say it once. We're we're just and if you're on YouTube and Facebook, just one time because we're going to go through all of the the comments. We're going to make our list. Michelle's going to help me, and tomorrow we will have everybody on a piece of paper. And the best way I knew how to do it, uh, there probably could have been a more efficient way. Um, I'll print it and then uh, Matt will do the honor. Okay, this is from Lindsay Fuente. Hi, Lindsay girl. We were running errands and my boyfriend said, we just have to get you home by 6.30. And I didn't know why. Aww. And, Aww. and he said, to win your painting. See, I do listen. Thanks for teaching him. Aww, that's so nice. I'm so glad he listened and now you're entered to win. We gotta get you home, and then tomorrow uh, you've got to pop on and be be on to win. So when we make our announcement, I'll need the person on here to say I'm here, and hopefully we'll spread a little Christmas cheer. I um, I was silly today, and I put some filters on my face, and I sent some songs to uh, Cammy's daughters. They're five and six, so I put funny filters on my face, and I sang Christmas music and sent sent them to her. I also sent funny ones to my parent, my mom, my brother, Kristen Calhoun, and Michelle. You didn't get to see it, did you? I'll send you some fun Christmas videos. Wonderful. Spreading Christmas cheer. Very nice. <laughs> Gavin says, I have to go to my dad's this year for Christmas. We are having Christmas tonight, right now, but taking a break from presents. Now I told him I really didn't want presents, but they got me presents anyway. Oh. Well, Gavin, that's so nice. You are so fortunate. I'm telling you, you're so fortunate. <laughs> Rahini, she says, LOL, Tom got me home by 630. <laughs> that's some good dudes right there. You've got some good guys I'm right there. You what, man. That's, that's the way to go. That's so great. I got on the bus when I got my notification you were on. There you go, Irma. Uh, sorry, what color are you using? I can't talk with my son for a sec. Cherry picked is the color going over fire starter. Now I've just dipped into some cowgirl coral. We're just going to kind of blend. I don't have a finale on how exactly I want this to look, but my inspiration card, I used my oil pastels. Is this, this is the direction I'm going with copper as our accent color on all this gorgeous metal. But this is layer two, okay? Our first coat is the fire starter, and I put clear wax over here on the, her thighs because I don't want all that to disappear. And I'm lightly using my dusty over the cherry picked. It's not going to be centered. Julie Moore says, I'm inspired to use fire starter base on furniture piece. I have really love it. I prefer fire starter or liquid sunshine. I really prefer my brighter colors underneath. I love that peak of bright layer coming through. I want this to be deep and elegant and rich looking and I'm going to work on it a little bit with you guys and then I'm going to wait and surprise you for the reveal in the Turquoise Irish Journal, the digital magazine. Issue two will be out January 15th. So if you haven't subscribed, you can do that now. I have a huge announcement of someone that's coming into the journal, and um, I wasn't sure I would have their information before, and I say there because there's a team, a team of people, um, but I'm not going to announce it yet, but it'll be soon. <laughs> the re are you laughing at me? Yes. Well, the reason I can't announce it yet is because I'm putting together a post with images and stuff to announce that they're actually pro I'm going to be contributing to the Turquoise Irish Journal, and I'm over the moon, Mike. 
like I didn't want to tell anybody until I knew for sure that they were going to actually do what they said, and they did. I got it today, right when we were eating dinner. Uh, the question, I think this concerns us all. Crystal Coral Marie Molina, I have a non-painting question. Yes, ma'am. Since many of you have older kids, how do you teach them to drive without peeling your skin off? Help, L-O-L. What? To do what? Drive. Oh, honey, I haven't ridden with Holden. I rode with Holden one time, and then he goes, you know what, Mom? This is probably getting a good combo. And I'm like, yeah, I know, because he says I overreact. Um, so, um, Matthew, how do you ride with Holden? I do all. How I do, do you ride the, with Holden? How do I? Yeah, how do, you, how do you do it? I sit back on my phone and don't look up. You better not tell me that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I put my earbuds in. Oh, and my gosh. Way up and just don't look up and say, every now and then, just look up and go, Good job. You better stop that. <laughs> so yes, I do. I do all the teaching of the driving. I don't know. I just it doesn't bother me. Both of my kids have been really good. They've been really cautious um, at first, so it kind of put me at ease at first. Um, they're getting a little. I noticed my my uh, my youngest. We're learning how to drive right now, but. Um, he's got a little bit of heavier foot than his older brother, so I've gotten on to him for that a few times. Um, but I don't know. I just kind of take it all in stride. I don't. I don't really tend to get upset a whole lot. Not upset. She just means nervous. Well, or nervous. Yeah, she I, said. I just she... don't. I guess. I just. I guess I look at it as you know. It is what it is. They got to learn. And I just. They just get it. Get after it. Well. Crystal, mine are more comfortable with their dad in the car because I tend to overreact. And this color combination with this orange coming through is fire. Okay? Just be chill and correct them as needed. I can't be chill. It's not possible for me to be chill. Oh, he's totally more chill. I'm like this. Hey, uh, you should turn this lane. Hey, you should get in this lane. It would be wiser. Hey, you're getting a little bit too close. Put on your brakes. See, I don't do that. I yes, do more. I do, I, more sure. of, I do more of. Okay, where are we going? Let's go to destination X, and then I leave him alone. I let him get there, hmm. whether he knows how to get there or not. Because <laughs> I got to learn direction, you know. So we do a lot of I've been north, that. south, east, and west. Yeah, but I've been teaching direction since they were a little bitty. Like we would be in the car, and I would say, "All right, boys, I got a test for you." And I'd say, what direction are we driving? You need to look at the sun. And I would literally make them look out the window just to understand directions. It's so important not to rely on your car or your phone to tell you. Uh, Andrea Griggs, what is the water bottle brand, please? This is my water bottle. It's, uh, the Water Girl on my website. It's $17 right here on my website. And uh, Chanel would like to know if you are using the same brush for everything. Right? Yes, I am. I'm not using the, the one for the orange. The orange one's down here. I wrapped up. But this one's for the cowgirl coral. Yes. So, Crystal, I don't know if that helps you at all. Maybe everybody else is giving you better advice than me because I can't, I, I just don't ride with him. And that's not, that's not the best answer. That's just the real one. And, you know, we have driving school, of course. Dear Carlton, lessons are great. Took my sister out driving, and she looked down for the brake pedal and drove into a ditch. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh because you put LOL at the end of it, so I know it's safe to laugh. I'm assuming everybody, everybody must, was okay. Everybody must have been okay. Yeah. I know. And, you know, my mom said they all learned how to drive out in the pasture. And so she said, I think I was 12 and I had my little brother in his carrier and I was holding him with one hand while I was learning. And then her older brother told her to turn and he waited till the last minute. She turned too hard. And I think they ended up in a ditch too. And, but the baby stayed on the seat because her, her hand was on there well. Lisa Dixon, I'm 52 and my father still tries to teach me how to drive every time he rides with me. <laughs> Now, it may be different with girls. I don't really know, but my boys have been pretty good. So, 
Uh, Philly Mace Hiddle. Oh, I, I know I'm, but I'm saying that all wrong. I apologize. Uh, has a question. When you paint on canvas with DIY paint, yeah. what do you seal it with? And does it bring out the color like when you wax furniture? Absolutely. I have actually waxed it a few times, but our big top is what I use. That's what I, I love to seal my canvases with big top when I'm using the DIY paint. It's not too harsh um, like some of the other varnishes would be. So DIY paint makes big top or liquid patina. Both of those products go over and they bring out the color beautifully. Hands down, it's my it's it's a wonderful product to use. Okay. So I'm just gonna kind of play around. You know, I'm not gonna show you guys this whole makeover, but I'm gonna give me a little bit of taste. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a pretty good idea. Pretty good taste. So what I love about this brush is that I can turn it and just do really thin layers like this, but Paint Pixie also makes a French tip that would be amazing right here. And I could get it, but this works fine. Perfect. Didn't even get any on the metal. I'm not going to touch up the hardware. I'm not even going to touch it because it's so incredibly gorgeous. Lolly says, my mom said, keep your hands on the wheel, turn your signal on and downshift. I laughed and drove straight. Then dad took over my lessons. <laughs> <laughs> so you have fond memories of that, I suppose. Um, but I'm so far, I'm liking this. What are you thinking, Matthew? Um, it's yes. It's yes? You don't yes. care for it? No, I didn't say that. Oh, I you... said, do I like it? No, I said, what do you think? And I said, yes. Yes. It's looking it's very lame. It, it, it's in its it's in its infancy stage. Well, m this mermaid tail is coming out here in uh -oh. just a second. So you got the mermaid tail on orange and purple. Did you not see the color card for inspiration? What's a color card? This is my color card for our inspiration. I don't know what a color Where have card you is. been? What's a color card? <sighs> you buy those at the store? I made it. Right. Turkey. All right. Does anybody need to see the painting again? The one we're giving away tomorrow night? I can't wait to see who's going to win this. And um, like I said, we're also going to be... Uh, oh, you know what? Matt, you talk. What would you like to talk about? I can sing Whatever. a song. You're going to talk uh, about. Uh, my gosh, you're blank. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, I'm singing... I'm singing, oh my God. <laughs> Daddy, I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I was not prepared for that either. That's terrible. Name that movie. That's terrible, Matthew. Yes, oh. it was Buddy. I love you. Okay, so Daddy, brushes are also coming your way. I will give away three more prizes. These are $22, the DIY synthetic brushes, but I will also draw names for three of you guys to win these. Smiling is my favorite. Smiling is your favorite. Valerie left after you started singing. Oh, Valerie had to go. Didn't like it. I mean, is that for real? Or are you just being on me? Me? What? Valerie. Oh, Valerie says, see you next year. Okay, bye. See ya. I just watched the movie for the first time last night. What? All right, so those are there too because, like I said, we had plenty for the shipping for the painting, but then Mr. Derek Carlton donated and definitely uh, put us to where we are going giving away more prizes. So. Thank you to everybody who contributed the shipping. I am going to dip a little bit of mermaid tail and get this on here just so you can see it. Oh, Matt, you sing beautifully. Why, thank you, Kristen. Kristen, I'm going to paint you next time I see you. Well, Heather, she says, LOL, my 11 year old loves Elf. She is smiling at you, Matt. See? See, you're bringing Christmas cheer. Singing, it's no different than talking. You just raise your voice up and down. <laughs> God. <laughs> It's no different, right? 
<laughs> so one of Matt's Christmas gifts is not coming in in time. It's totally delayed. And I'm so bummed. But then I thought, oh, well, I'm probably not the only one that has Christmas gifts that I ordered of that aren't in. Very cool, Derek Carlton. You're awesome. Derek no, you're not too late, Cheryl. Not at all. Just text me. Just say me. All right, so this is lovely. Not going to lie. Love this, too. Okay, that is mermaid tail. Yes, sir. Okay. So we're just kind of covering the edges? or you... Sweetie, this is called layering. You already know this. I thought it was layering. To you it is, but look. Look how this is. Look at this combination. It's fire. I'm just playing. I have no plan. It's not like I'm, I mean, I'm just, this is what I do. I'm just going to do, do the thing until. Crystal Coral Marie Molina would like to know what you got me. She won't tell. She won't. <laughs> well, I got him several things, but the one thing that's not here um, is okay. He doesn't actually probably need it until February or March anyway. February, March, I need it. A wetsuit? Did you give me a wetsuit? What would you need one of those for there, babe? For the pool. You didn't ask for a wetsuit. No, but you give me stuff that I don't ask for. <laughs> what did I get you last year for Christmas that you still have not opened? Excuse me? Yeah, I got him, guys, I got him a two-seater air float for the pool, and he went all summer and did not blow it up one time. So we can sit together. You're not going to get in the pool. I got in there twice. <laughs> you did not? I see you, Susan Mary. Merry Christmas. She said me. She said me. Me, 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 me. So I had Miss Kelly Weiler on again with me today. And we painted part two of our intuitive painting in the Creative Connection group. And the good news is, starting tomorrow morning, my Creative Connection video with eight of our members comes out, and they tell you all what they love about the group, and January 1st, so we just have one more week, and we'll have the group open to new members. So if you have any questions, um, please let me know. How does the orange peek through, as you mentioned? So what happens is, no matter what, it creates a resistance. So I can wet sand, I can sand, like I can, I can wet sand, and all that orange, which you can't really see, but the orange, I will take pictures. It's so good. You know what? Before we get off of here, I will move the camera closer so you can see what I mean. I rarely get into our pool, too. The dogs love it. Abby won't come anywhere near it at all. Super orange. Glad you asked. Crystal, I'm not sure what she's asking. Uh, Tasha says, Dion, do you swim? I, um, I like to. <laughs> <laughs> that was very, uh, very reluctant. Here's, here's, honestly, here's, here's one of my, here's a problem, which is not a problem, but here's my problem. Okay, guys, you know what it's like? Guys don't, but girls, you know, when you get in the pool and you have mascara on, you know what it's like to get it in your eyes, the water, even though ours is salt. It's a salt pool, pool, it's not chlorine. When we moved in, we had it switched over. When I wear mascara every day, and so getting in the pool, yeah, see, see, Lindsay jumps. She knew, she saw my pictures of me jumping in the pool. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, see. So there's you did get in twice. Yeah, those were the two times that I got it. That's right, I forgot. Once I shamed you into getting into it. And then the other one, you voluntarily jumped in. Yep. Um, I, it's not that I don't, it's just, it's very hard to, to get in when you wear makeup every single day. Very hesitant hair issues. Right, Tasha? Right. I like being in, like, Destin, Florida water. I like that a lot. By waterproof mascara. You know, I wear all natural makeup stuff and all natural mascara. I'm 
really picky about the mascara I put on my eyes, Donna. And so as silly as that may sound, it's just the truth. I only wear the mascara from the health food store and there's nothing waterproof about it. Um, if I'm less, do you like the salt pool more? Matthew, I'm gonna let you answer that because you got in the pool every day. I got in the pool every day and did some some exercises, but I think I never had a salt, I never had a chlorine pool. I've always been around and been in them. Um, but I've never had to maintain a chlorine pool. Um, but as far as maintenance is concerned for the salt water, it's super easy. Um, I feel it's super easy anyway. Um, I, I, I don't mind it. I, my skin will dry out a little bit more, I feel like, in the salt water. Um, but I don't have that film on me when I get out from a chlorine pool. Does that make, I hope that makes sense. I would probably, I, I think I prefer the, the salt over the chlorine for sure. So. Yeah. All right, so I'm just playing around with the cowgirl coral and the mermaid tail and layering them over these sides. And. Yeah, it's kind of, yes, yeah, that's right, Yvonne. It's like a water softener water, but he's, it, it, it's, it's kind of weird. It's hard to explain. It is, it is a little bit salty. You can taste it. The, the salt, the salt, is that what she's referring to? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But it's easier to maintain. All right. Um, if you have too much salt in it, Sue, it does burn your eyes, but you know, it, it's not bad. The chlorine is what I always remember burning my nose and going up my nose. Okay, so let me bring you in closer so you guys can get a look at this. If you're just popping on, this is a new piece. I think you have to say me. Yep, say me, Val. Yeah, Val. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say me. Me, me, me. Okay. So I'm just going to show you a little bit more close. Of course, it's wet, so it still looks a little splotchy. But you can see where the orange is peeking through. And so when I go and maybe maybe I spray it or maybe I put a little um, rag on it to pull back some more of those colors and left, let them come through better, the orange will still be there. You see, I love the way that looks. Can you see? Because I can't see what they see, Matthew. Um, can you see? I'm, I'm delayed a little bit, so yeah, you can see it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So what I want to do is take this bottom part down here and put copper almost, on here. It almost looks like you took a, it almost mm -hmm. looked like it was on fire a little bit. It's kind of weird. It's kind of got that, that almost charred look to it. I know you don't want to hear that. I actually don't. That really bums me out that you think it looks like it was on fire. Oh, well, that's really disappointing. Maybe I need a different color combination then, because I'm not for that. I'm sure I'm wrong, though. So, do things usually burn purple? No. Hmm. According it to, doesn't burn all According to you... All right, if you're just popping on, this is the painting that we would like to gift to one of you tomorrow. I changed it from the white church to a charn, which is a church and a barn together. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we finished it up last night. I just need to seal it. Thank you so much for those of you that were so supportive and helpful during the painting of this. It's all DIY paint, and I will seal it with Big Top. I'm going to see if I can turn this. Want to move the camera? Sure, that'd be great. It might be time to go. I actually have no idea how long I've been on. It is 9.05. Okay. 
Okay, so you guys see this deliciousness here? Uh, Lindsay, I missed the answer to this. I asked this on your last video on this piece, but didn't get a response. Do you wax over all of the orange? No. Or did you only do the detailed sides? What do you call the, what you call the thighs? <laughs> I only put wax on the thighs because they're detailed and they, they're the ones where the grooves are and they're the ones where that orange can be peeking out down inside the groove. Here, I did not put any wax on it. Um, I won't do much distressing on the sides. This isn't gonna be a natural place for wear and tear to happen because this is hardly ever gonna to get touched. Um, but here with the edges sticking out, honestly, it just gives me an opportunity to let those under colors come through. I see you, Charlotte Small. So I only put it on the detailed thighs. Hey there, Amber Strong, Merry Christmas to you. I appreciate you saying hello to me. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so with the cherry picked and the cowgirl coral on the front, I'm not painting this at all. I may need to add some of the copper when I put it down here on the metal. Um, but regardless, we're gonna, we're gonna do this little section and then we'll be back on tomorrow on Christmas Eve at 8.30 to draw the winner. We won't be on very long, but we will draw the winner for the painting, um, the one that's behind me over here, over my shoulder. Okay. Janet uh, was hanging clothes up and yay, found a missing present that I put in a safe place, <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Atta girl. Do the laundry, find the hidden presents. That's good stuff. Uh, Penny says me, heart, 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 your painting, our creativity, talent, encouragement, and teaching. This, thank you, honey. I usually watch on Roku. Thank what you. is Roku? What's Roku? I don't know. I, I, we're, I think we're gonna get made fun of again because we don't know what things are. My, my guess is Derek right now is, is face planting right now in his palm of his hand going, oh my word. Him and Rob are going, are you kidding me right now? You don't know what Roku is? I don't know what that is. I don't either. I didn't know I was on Roku. What is Roku? <laughs> oh, why do we always? Oh, it's for streaming. Oh, so oh, it's a, okay. All right, it's a oh, streaming service. Live streaming service. Okay, but, gotcha. So it must be different than Facebook or YouTube that we're on right now. Right. I don't yeah. know. I don't know, guys. But like I said, we we were thinking about those of you especially that have no family or can't be with your family tomorrow or you know everything's just a little bit different and so we're going to be here we're coming we're going to be here and we will um try to spread some holiday cheer tomorrow and guys one more week and i get to take a break from doing nightly lives i've been on here since october 1st every day it's like a fire stick babe for stereos and other oh yeah fire sticks so derek he says beats me what you Derek? Give, no. You gave him way too much credit. Derek right? has like nine PhDs. <laughs> he gave you more. He used, and, to, he and, used to be seven. Him and Rob, I swear, between the two of them, I, they need to run for president or something. <laughs> their wives are probably rolling their eyes, like I would be if someone said that about you. So this is cherry picked over fire starter and now I'm going to start dipping in a little bit of that cowgirl coral. I'm going to definitely make it more distressed than this you all. And then um, when issue two comes out for the journal on February, on January 15th, you'll get to see the full finished image. Uh, if you're just popping on, we're going to do a virtual class. Guys, I haven't done one in two years, but it's time to go virtual until this this whole uh, pandemic works itself out. So, oh, get this, Jasmine. She says, "I just want to tell all my fan fake friends on the interwebs. I hope next year brings you joy. Know you are beautiful, smart, strong, and I'm here for each of you. Never hesitate to reach out. Fantastic. Thank you." Miss Jasmine, thank you so much. That's so nice. That is so nice. And we wish the same for you as well. Uh, so this is Cowgirl Coral. 
Chanoa has a question. What makes you go different directions on side than the front? I get, I get asked that all the time. So um, this section is vertical, whereas the fronts were horizontal. So my instinct, I don't think about it. It's just something that I've always done, but I always get asked when I paint in front of people in person. Um, this is a vertical direction and the grain is going vertical. So my instinct is to take that direction with that. January, January 30th virtual class tickets on the Turquoise Iris. Yes, on the Turquoise Iris. The VIP tickets are available on windmillvintagedesigns.com on her website. I don't know if she has any left. We, are, we announced them about, an, I don't know, less than an hour ago, and I know several of them have sold. I do the same thing when I paint with the green. Carolyn, it's, um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I noticed that it's, like if I sat down and tried to do sideways right now, it would feel so wrong. So I just have to go with, um, go with my instincts. Now, let me get some mermaid tail before we go tonight. Now, the virtual, the in-person workshop, the, just the VIP night, there's only going to be eight in a session. So eight people, and then the next one at 7 o'clock will be eight people on the 29th. So hopefully I'm not confusing you all totally about that. So in that, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Right, that, but you're, but while you're there, you'll be doing a online. Yeah, we'll be in Melanie's shop, just the four of us doing an online virtual class that everybody's invited to. So you can take a, a class with us, no matter where you live in this world. So I am going to pull back some of that and show you uh, when I bring the camera in closer that the orange stays on there because I had put the wax on there a couple of days ago to act as a barrier. Let me get some of this delicious mermaid tail on here. Goodness. Uh, Christine Skinner, what will the topic of the class be? Question mark. Um, so when we do our workshops with Debbie and the other person that we're with, uh, we do, well, we paint three pieces of furniture and then we draw names and everybody is automatically entered to win if you're a guest of the class. Um, it's about whatever you guys want to ask. It's technique, it's business, it's confidence, it's video, it's whatever. We, we, we have certain things we make sure we cover because it's the most asked questions. So we cover all of those things. There's so much fun. And uh, of course, we're going to try to bring as much fun as we can virtually since we can't be in person. But um, Christy, it's kind of, it's kind of like the way um, Waco was wrapped up in like three hours. That's what it's like. Yes, 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 yes. There will be dancing. There may be dancing. You've earned the rest, but we'll miss you. Thanks for your time and your inspiration. Thank you, Betty. I started October 1st. I did miss one day in October, two days in November include one of them was Thanksgiving and then um, I'll miss tomorrow for, for Christmas um, yeah, or Christmas day. Yeah, um, we'll be on tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Gotta give a, we got to get some stuff away. But, you know, I got to thinking about the date. So, um, you know, I don't I was thinking I would stop January 1st, but January 1st is on a Friday. So it's Friday Night Live. Um, Sue Rosenblatt. So I only have one day off. She would like to know if I will be juggling. Are you going to be juggling at the show? Mm -hmm. So Matt's not actually coming. This is the first I've heard of that. <laughs> Are you crying? No. Did you just take a breath and cry? No. You are my inspiration to start painting, and I thank you for all your guidance and your help. Shanoa, you are so more than welcome. You are so more than welcome. The truth is, guys... She says she's not going to come back on live, but it'll just take one night, and then she'll be like, we're going live. So true. <laughs> she'll be like, let's go live. She'll, it's just, just one day, she'll just get a, 
a little breather and she'll be like, all right, what are we doing tonight? Woods. That's what she'll say as she's running into her, her studio and I'm sitting on the couch and she'll be like, he's going to look at me and go, what? I thought we were taking a break. And she's like, what are we doing tonight? Woods. <laughs> Yes, Lolly, I do love meeting everyone and wearing my arm candy t-shirt. Yeah. For those of you who have not seen the t-shirt, I will be wearing it at all events that I go to. <laughs> Dion got me a t-shirt, and it's, it's a great t-shirt. And it says, it's a black t-shirt with white letters that says, I'm tired of being my wife's arm candy. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. And I got the best response out of so many people with that shirt. We were in McKinney, right? Yeah. McKinney, Texas, and they enjoyed your T-shirt, Mr. Woods. All right, so I'm going to just kind of play around with that. I am really loving the combination. Uh, Donetta, this is Mermaid Tail. Okay, hi, Tonda. Merry Christmas, sweetheart. All right, so her thighs, getting some delicious layers built up. The fire starter. Cherry picked is going to be the main color on this piece. I'm going to feature the final photos. And I've got a special paint tutorial I'm going to put together for those that are subscribed to the journal. For issue two, Quita Allen of All Shabbed Out is on the cover. I have some artists like Carrie Schmidt, Parker Bridwell, and a surprise person that I'm not telling you yet. i got to put the post together and put some thought and time into it. Uh, <sighs> that I'm very excited about. You guys come back tomorrow. I'm going to give this away. It's 24 by 24. It's called The Gift. You guys have been so gracious and kind and such a gift to Matt and I. You really um, make our evenings very special. We spent so many years at the ballpark. Practices split up, homework rushed, pressed for time, just our evenings are so much different than they used to be as the boys have gotten older. Um, and we found ourselves for a while going, kind of bored, kind of bored, kind of bored. Yes, I will. Yes, Christy. Yes. Um, so anyway, this has been um, really fun for us. So anyway, I am not going to get teary-eyed of any sorts, but this was just something that I thought you guys might enjoy for the holiday. So one of you will receive this. Several of you will receive brushes. Uh, tomorrow, 8.30 Central Time. Come on, say hello. Tonight is Christmas Eve, Eve. Make sure you have your hot cocoa or hot tea ooh, ooh. or hot toddy, whatever you decide. And then maybe a Christmas hat. You know, maybe oh, I'll wear mine. A and Christmas sweater, maybe. Possibly. I don't think I have it. Well, I have a sweater that says joy. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Betty, for um, encouraging me to do these holiday scenes or these winter scenes. Everybody have a safe day tomorrow. Much love from the Woods family, and I'll see you at 830 Central Time. Um, one last thing I will tell you. I got breakfast in bed from that guy over there. Made me muffins, what? hot cocoa, and some grapes, and even brought butter and with a knife to bed this morning. So thank you. <laughs> He's like, oh my gosh, you told him? Yeah, no, I'm never going to let this live this one down. Oh, love you too, girl. Love you too, you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. See ya.